Hello and welcome to a new AnyLogic video in which we will discuss the traffic light and how to configure it in a customized way. So the traffic light is one of these objects from the road traffic library that defines when the light is going to be green or red for a particular intersection. So stop lines is one of the way in which we can define the lights and in here we have four stop lines that define an intersection and three phases. Each phase defines which one of the stop lines is going to be green and which one is going to be red. We can also add yellow but we won't on this example. And each phase has a duration. So the duration is defined here as uh, parameters. So green light time north would be a parameter that defines the duration in seconds of this particular phase that has the stop line north as green and the other ones as red. So if you want to change the phase programmatically, instead of waiting for the time that is defined by the duration, you can use this switch to next phase method. And to move from phase zero to phase two, you will need to use this function or this method two times in a row. So that's why we do it. And we will talk on this video about different tricks and methods you can use in order to control this uh, depending on how you want to do it. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so here is the model that we will work with. Everything that we care about is here on the uh, bottom left and let's check the traffic light. The traffic light has three states. So the first one is the north, second one is south and third one is west east. So let's run the model because we will do three different things. The first one is to change the number of faces as many times as we want. The second is to stay on the same traffic light for as much time as we want and the other one is to change between automatic and manual control of the traffic light. So first, the first state is the one in the north and we can see the remaining time in here. So it stays five seconds in the north, then it will stay five seconds on the south, and then it will stay 20 seconds on the west east. That's how it works. So in here we can change the faces. So if we are on the west east, if we change the faces, it will go to the north, then to the south, to then to the west east. North, south, west east, north, south, west east. But then we can change also two faces. And from the west east, then it will go to the south. From the south, it will go to the north. And from the north, it will go to the west east. And so on. If we change three faces, then since we have only have three states, it will stay on the same state. So every time I click this button, you will see that the remaining time uh, is reset. We can stay in the same light here. If we click North Road, it will stay in the same North light in green forever until we do something else, such as going back to uh, automatic traffic light. And then it will switch again. We can choose any road to do the same thing. These are the three things that we want to do. Okay, so again, we care only about the things that are here on the bottom left. So how do we do it to change the faces as many times as we want? In order to change to the next phase, we need to use this method. And we can define the number of faces we need to switch using this edit box. So can create a for loop that will trigger this method as many times as we want. Now we have to be careful because every time this function is executed, the on face change action will be executed as well. So any code you write here will be executed. And that is many times dangerous because there are some things that you don't want to happen uh, that you wrote on the face change. Okay, so in order to use automatic traffic light 
faces we use emergency mode false. Emergency mode is a variable that we will use in order to define if we want a traffic light to stay on the same state or the same phase forever. So this is what the emergency mode is. If we click on one of these buttons, we'll use this function that we created that takes two arguments. One is the traffic light that we want to keep on the same phase, and the second is the phase we want to keep. So the north road is zero, the south is one, and east or west is two, because the index is zero, one, and two here. So this function that we are calling uh, we can use this method get current phase index to know what is the current index of the phase that the traffic light is in and then we will generate this emergency mode to be equal to true because we want to keep the same phase forever and we will use this variable called desired phase so we know what the desired phase is based on what button we clicked because the second argument remember is the phase that we want to keep forever. So, of course, if the current phase is equal to the desired phase, we don't do anything. In any other case, we need to switch to next phase. But now here, we're switching only one phase. This doesn't do exactly what we need. So everything else will be done in the traffic light on phase change. Remember that when you switch to next phase, immediately you will trigger the on phase change action. So since we changed in here the emergency mode to true that means that we can enter this if and it is if we will do additional switch to next phase if needed and we will also use this is looping and we will set up to true in order to avoid this if to be triggered when we use the switch to next phase inside the traffic light so the rest is simple. If you have a current phase below the desired phase, you see the difference, and then you loop the same way we did before, as many times as you need to get to the desired phase. And since the is looping is true, you will not get to the if in every time you do this switch next phase. So there's no danger. And if the current phase is above the desired phase, you need to do the for loop, you can do it in many different ways, but in here, we just, uh, for example, if the current phase is one and the desired phase is zero, then the current phase is starts with one. The traffic light get phases number is going to be three. This is an internal any logic method. And the desired phase is zero. So you will loop two times, basically. So you start with here, you will loop one and two times. And that's it. When you get to the desired phase, you set up is looping to false in order to avoid any problems. And that means that you can, as long as you are in the emergency mode, get to the if inside the if again in case the phase switches again. Now, it's important to say that we, do, we don't have any control over how much the traffic light duration is except at the beginning of the simulation. We cannot change it after that. And that's why we need to do this complicated thing in order to keep our traffic light in the same state for as long as we want. So that was it. If you want to download the model and get access to it, you will get somewhere in the description box the link to the AnyLogic Cloud where you can download the model. And if you want to learn more about AnyLogic, you can take our courses. We have 15 different courses and the link will also be somewhere in the description. So see you on the next one.